this is terrible. I've accidentally pressed the stop video button uh, almost a dozen times today. spot here when people come through they cut through people who live back there cut through here actually I think somebody should just come here and take a sledgehammer to this just you know, make a road it should have been a road it should have been a road when, uh, when Kmart was here. It shouldn't have made the people, the people that live back there, uh, not able to come through here. So, at the end of the day, I'm really tired. You probably won't even get uploaded. If I try to upload all of these videos at once, um, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm very tired though. I want to see what the back, essentially the back of the building looks like. Out of water. Fire sprinkler valve do not close. So, oh, I guess, yeah, if there was maybe a fire inside, they could pull up or shut the water off. No, oh, yeah, the water would come from the township, from the plumbing, and then here they could shut it off because the valves would be open inside. Manual shut off, you know, old fashioned. A little safer than electric or anything. I'm so tired. So tired. So tired. My feet hurt. It was a bad idea. Bad idea walking in these shoes, that's it, you know. Plus, I am a little out of shape. I think one of the problems with these boots there's not enough flex they're not flexible enough any deliveries please call 354-5569 assume that's camera couple satellites pointing south, I don't know, maybe towards Detroit, Let's see it kind of looks like one towards Chicago, one towards Detroit, maybe, it's, that might be either Grand Rapids, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if they're actually pointing towards these cities or if they're just pointing towards where there's like geosynchronous, uh, you know, satellites. Maybe there are satellites over the equator, parked over the equator, parked, you know, south over Florida or who knows. It's either, either a tower or a satellite and they're called satellite dishes. They all, they all use to communicate with satellites. I don't know. 
I don't know what this could. I hate to say it, but basketball courts. I mean, you know, if you're in a basketball, you probably think obviously, dude. That's a fucking basketball court right there. One, two, three basketball court. Well, maybe not like any decent size court. Maybe. Maybe. I don't think you could get a full court in there, though. Not this big part, and certainly not that little tiny part. No, there's not enough space in there for a full court. Half court. Full half court. A full half. Right? That makes sense. But, as far as, like, just for kids or... You know, like little, you could divide that up, make your own little rules. You don't need, to, you know, kind of like uh, Little League. You know, Little League, they use smaller baseball diamonds. Smaller court, I'm sure. Right? Even high schools don't have, I'm fairly certain that high school basketball courts are not the same thing that, like the NBA uses. Not the same touch. I might be wrong on that. I accept it if I am. I don't know. But I don't think so. I don't think any kids are expected to, you know, work as hard as professional athletes. Fountain water. Is that a garbage? Please tell me that that barrel is a garbage. Please tell me that, that barrel is garbage. No. Well, it says non hazardous waste. What the fuck is this barrel doing here? It's solid. This barrel is full of uh, liquid, I think. I can't tell what that says. So right now I'm standing on my feet. Tired. So tired. My chest isn't tired. My head's not tired. I am a little, little bit tired. It's the feet. The feet and the knees. Asshole. You like asshole products? Look, another asshole sticker. Mighty Max. Asshole. Michigan. That's good. I don't know. What do you guys think of these types of vehicles? I'm not really a vehicle person. <laughs> Everybody's expected to have a vehicle. It's like <clears throat> the one thing you're supposed to have, right? You can be homeless, but as long as you have a vehicle, Chinese food wouldn't be bad. I don't really feel in Chinese food though. Not feeling Chinese food. The no demolition derby. Fuck. Hey, if you guys want to see 
Alpena Demolition Derby. Check out John Picker. John Picker, he lives here in Alpena. He's got a nice YouTube channel. John Picker. He's got another channel too. Uh, I think it's like Scrapper Boy. But you can find that through John Picker. His avatar is uh, Oscar the Grouch. I think. I don't know if he'll always <clears throat> if he'll always have that avatar. But yeah. So I don't know. What do we do? Beach. Store. We'll go to the store. The store. There's a few good stores out in town. Not really too hungry. Hmm. Oh, I didn't even really talk about the stuff I wanted to talk about. So, um... with this. So I was talking to kids Kazoom about um, what well he mentioned malls. He mentioned uh, dead malls. I need to sit down not like I I have to take some, some weight off my feet. Um I don't know how long ago it was, but somebody that I, I watch, somebody that I sort of engage with on YouTube, his name is uh, Kazoom Fowler, and uh, <clears throat> he, he talked in a video about malls, about about what we can do with them. And my, my concern, you know, malls are good. Big malls. You know, and I'm sure you guys know even, you know, what big malls are like. More than I do, probably. But some of the malls that I have been to, have been in Grand Rapids. Um... I'm trying to think if yeah I've been I went to a few in Indianapolis but uh for the most part I don't I don't know shit about malls I usually don't have enough money to to shop so I don't really do malls but I think the thing is more and more people don't have enough and, and one of the reasons for this is most of that money has gone into, uh, you know, these, these malls, these shopping centers that stuff the products, you know, the trick is to get people to buy stuff, uh, it's mostly stuff that they're not going to have. For long, cheap products that will break down and that will become garbage. And that, that's kind of the problem. Is we haven't lived with something like plastic for long enough. Um, be used to it like we still we still have some consuming habits for things like solid wood and stone um, 
homes, furniture, you know, shelves, tables, that sort of thing. And uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I'm fighting with myself right now. I don't think it's too bad. I feel like I'm trying to push this. But I, I do, I do kind of see that it is bad, and that the stuff is not, it's not good. You could say, hey, you get what you pay for. No, you buy what you're sold, you know. A huge amount of people, huge. Uh, I don't want to say everyone. I really, I'm, I'm fighting that. I don't want to say everyone. Not everyone buys what they're convinced to buy. But I'm, I'm even struggling for, for, you know, wealthier people. Like, I think there are even middle-class salesmen, you know, a lot of them out there, and, and marketers, middle-class salesmen and uh, marketers who are good at targeting uh, wealthy people. So I do think that they still uh, buy things that they don't necessarily need. No more liquid. It's just water anyway. It was nice. I appreciate the people at uh, Cabin Creek for offering free fountain water. And this chai is...